Hey guys, I'm Sue, and I have a superpower everyone would envy. No, I cannot move in seconds, I don't throw a web from my hands, and I don't do master telekinesis. My superpower is that I don't sleep. At all. Can you imagine how much free time I have? While you're spending one third of your life sleeping, I manage to do everything. But do I enjoy the superpower? And how did it come out that I became incapable of sleeping? Don't worry, I'll tell you. Just watch the video till the end. Well, let's start from my childhood. I've always been a sleepyhead, and I liked sleeping most of all, even when I was too small. My parents told me everyone in the neighborhood envied them. While other kids were constantly crying, nagging, demanding attention, I was peacefully sleeping in my bed at everyone's excitement and pleasure. A perfect and calm kid. However, when I went to kindergarten, I started having problems. It was too difficult to make me get up in the morning. I didn't want to go anywhere, and I always asked my parents to let me sleep more in my warm bed. But during the daytime nap in kindergarten, I was the first to go to sleep, and I was kinda a sleeping role model for other kids. Anyway, I liked sleeping, and sleeping liked me back. I had the same problems at school. I hated my alarm clock. I woke up from the fifth try, and the whole day long I felt sleepy and unhappy. Especially my sleepiness showed itself in autumn or in winter. This time of year, there was absolutely no sunshine in our city. The whole days were dark gray and gloomy. And that's why the only thing I really wanted in these days was to crawl under my warm blanket and fall asleep. And, on the contrary, when it was sunshine, I could wake up before the alarm clock and be happy all day long doing something. My parents, who were happy about my ability to fall asleep fast when I was a kid, were, however, worried when I became a teenager. So, they made me see a doctor, but the doctor made them stop worrying. He said everyone is sleepy in our town. It's all because of the rainy and gloomy weather. There's nothing special about it. Melatonin, the hormone controlling our sleeping, stops appearing in the body because of the lack of sunshine. Such rapid atmosphere pressure changes provoke arterial blood pressure. We get less oxygen and want more sleeping these days. Probably, I also started to depend on the weather and the sun. That's why I've been walking like a sleepy zombie all day long, and went sleeping every time I had a chance. By the way, the doctor said the sleepy condition may be related to some brain damage, and advised me to pass another medical examination. But my parents and I decided no need to worry, as I only got sleepy symptoms and nothing else. Turned out in vain. When I had a before and after moment in life, I got into a car accident. It happened when I was coming back from school. It was a rainy and a little foggy day, and as always, I wanted to sleep very much and get home as fast as possible to have a little nap before doing my homework. My way home from school was about a 20 minute walk, so I always plugged my ears with my headphones and turned on my favorite music or some audiobook not to get bored. It was the same on that unfortunate day. I had my headphones on, the music was on 100% volume, and I was hurrying home. I thought I'd managed to run across the road on beaming traffic lights, but I never even guessed that a drizzling rain and a fog may make me less visible for the driver. And then I heard the brakes screech, someone screaming, and complete darkness. When I became conscious, I didn't realize at once why I was in the hospital, why I was having such a terrible headache, and why my mom was crying when she saw me looking at her. It turned out, that day, a car hit me. The driver was taking a turn on an average speed, but he didn't see someone was crossing the road. That's why he didn't manage to hit the brakes, and we collided. I was pushed away for several meters. I had a hard head blow. The aftermath was terrible. First, it was clinical death. Then a two-week coma. I can't even imagine what my parents had to go through. However, once I managed to come to my senses, my condition started getting better. Fortunately, no serious consequences after this car accident happened to me. I didn't lose my memory as it often happens in the movies. I didn't go blind and I didn't lose my limbs. My arm was broken. I got serious injuries and a mark from the blow on my head which was about to turn into a scar. Sometimes I had headaches at night, but the injections helped me. 
They relieved the pain and I could sleep well. I learned that something was wrong with me since the first day they discharged me from the hospital. I spent almost two months there, and I was dreaming to get home as soon as possible in my beautiful and sweet bed. I imagined I would climb under the blanket and sleep until lunch. I was free of school for a while for well-known reasons. How surprised I was when I got into my favorite bed, and I didn't feel my habitual sleepiness as soon as I closed my eyes. I'm not used to having problems with sleep at all. As soon as my head touched the pillow, I would start sleeping. Not this time. I was turning from one side to another, and anyway, I didn't sleep. In the morning, I went downstairs feeling tormented and having a wild headache. Me and my parents decided it's just the way I'm getting adapted to home after a long stay in the hospital. But during the day, I tried hard to sleep, but I didn't manage to. And the same with the next night. I was dizzy. I would stare in space for several minutes, and I couldn't concentrate on anything or carry on a conversation. Eventually, my mom called the hospital. She spoke to my doctor, and he advised her to make me a sedative injection, just like they did in the hospital. Hallelujah, it worked out. I fell asleep during the daytime and woke next morning. It was so cool to feel relaxed and fresh again. Now I wasn't sleepy at all. I helped my mom. I met my friends and I watched my favorite series. Anyway, I got back to normal life. But as soon as night came, I understood my life probably will never be normal again. I couldn't fall asleep again, though I tried so many ways to do it. Well, I drank chamomile relaxing tea, counted sheep, tried to meditate, listened to music. Nothing helped. And for the next two days, the same. I talked to the doctor on the phone, and he said my insomnia could be a non-discovered aftermath of the car accident. Thus, me and my mom went to the hospital for an extra examination. It lasted for several weeks. We even had to call doctors from other cities for a joint consultation. The local doctor saw these symptoms for the first time in his life and was unable to diagnose me. All this time, I hadn't been sleeping at night. Surprisingly, I felt very fresh. But sometimes they gave me special injections so that I got a little nap. Well, the doctors came to the conclusion that the part of my brain responsible for sleeping wasn't functioning well even before the car accident. After the accident, this malfunction changed its way to a completely different one. So my body just decided that sleeping is for losers. It's gonna feel great even without sleeping. No one has ever invented a medicine for absolute insomnia as the doctors called it. That's why the only thing I can do now is to stay awake all the time. Sometimes I still have to use the injections so that my brain can relax a little. I've been living like this for a year already. Of course, I feel stressed because of the illnesses. I feel tired and broken, but learn to live with it. Thanks to my sickness, now I have plenty of time. I learned several foreign languages at once, and probably I would finish school earlier than people usually do. What's your attitude to sleeping? Do you like sleeping? Or you think all the interesting things happen at night? Leave your comments below this video. If you enjoyed my story, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Never miss new videos. Turn on notifications to stay tuned. Bye everyone.